My name is Tara Tucker. I am 40 years old. I am a child of God, a wife, a mother of three, and I have a cat named Sir Chestnut. I am a hairdresser, a licensed and professional. I'm also a writer. And during this journey, I have discovered that there's so much in me um, in the area of writing, so to be continued. <laughs> in September, I was taking a shower. For some reason, I started doing this. I don't do that often. I've done it in the past, but I'm not a regular self-checker. So I paused because it didn't feel right. I just knew it wasn't right. I knew it wasn't right. It felt wrong, and I got scared immediately. I went to, I had the mammogram, and then I had to get the ultrasound. From the ultrasound, um, these things kept coming up irregular. So um, from that, I had a biopsy. The biopsy is what was the tale. I um, remember the day very well, because I was at work at the salon. It was December 8th, 2016. That day was significant for me because um, one of my clients is a PR lady and she also was starting a new television show with her brother. She asked me to be her official hairstylist for the show as well as uh, develop a segment, Tara Talks Hair, which was, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Um, so that day, a few hours later, I received a phone call from my doctor and she asked if it was okay to talk on the phone with the results. I said yes. And she said, well, you were positive for invasive ductal carcinoma. I said, what is that? And she said, it's breast cancer. She said, it's a very common form of breast cancer. And then she continued talking about things. And I started writing what she was saying down, almost robotic. You know, I'm writing it down, but I'm in shock. Like, what? Like, how? What? I just couldn't wrap my head around it, but I'm listening to her. Um, so she gives me the information. She tells me about a cancer doctor uh, that I can go see, and she had it set up for the following Tuesday. And it's crazy. The same doctor that she recommended was a doctor that I was looking at up, up online and someone else had recommended. So I said, okay. So I went to see him. He was amazing anyway. But that day was weird. I got off the phone with her, and I had a client that was coming an hour later, and I said, okay, God, it's me and you. Let's do this. And that's what I said. And guess what? I waited and I took care of my next client. I didn't leave. I straightened up the salon. I got ready for my next client. I did the service, laughed and joked and went all cleaned up, closed up, and went home, waited because I had to tell my husband. That was not easy. So yeah, we um, we discussed that, and that was that was hard. It's a lot of tears. It was it was difficult because we were just like, what's about to happen? So, that was December eighth, two thousand sixteen.